question of skin color in particular is an age-old question for discussion. It becomes even more important uh, as the world grows smaller and smaller and we come into each other's territory, in and out of each other's territory. So you don't have to go to Britain, you don't have to go to America to be told that you are a second class citizen because of your skin. For me, it's, my problem is why I'm white. I want, I dream about uh, to be a black man. I like the, the skin, the black skin. I like it's so beautiful. For my life, it's, it's been uh, so difficult. Then maybe it's for my skin, my white skin, maybe. Sometimes I feel like I'm not beautiful, you know? I don't know, it's, it's really sad. But. And they actually call us colored, colored people, like in Zimbabwe. So there's like a, there's white people, there's black people, and then the brown people, I would say, they call them colored. And uh, yeah, they, they're racist. They'll be like, oh, you colored, you get out of our country. I'm the one that uh, taught that as a black, I was uh, special and I had uh, something more than the other and, and I wanted to, to show it and demonstrate it. I, I always had, I must admit, and a little bit still remains, this macho idea of the black human being. What I mean is that being uh, considered only because you are exotic, you're sporty, not for other things, that doesn't, never help me. That was my real difficulty. A friend of mine once found her daughter scrubbing her skin and she asked, why, why are you doing this? I'm trying to be white. And she then burst out crying, telling her mother, please tell me who I am. A lot of people said, you know, what are you looking for? What do you hope to find with this documentary? And I said, I hope we find truth. And that when people watch this, that they'll feel accepted or understand that they're not the only ones in the world feeling this way.